Um, talk about the day. Talk about how you, how you felt. Right. Uh, felt like felt like the uh, the final hurdle is almost is almost here. Yeah, I know. It's kind of nice to have everything. You know, I felt like I put my best foot forward today. I really improved on everything I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a great environment. Felt good in the drills. I just was excited to come out and put some good times and measurements out. Does, did, did this have, how, how much of a different feel did this have from the combine? Uh, a little different. You know what I mean? It's it's different having people cheering you on mm -hmm. versus people just being silent. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. It was fun kind of being back in Utah with teammates. I think that made a big difference. So just having your teammates and your friends around. Like, I've been working with Miles and LaShawn for the past month and it's just fun. Like getting done with the second 40 and both of us just being like, all right, we're going to crush this one. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of different feel in that sense. Yep. Uh, I was talking to your dad earlier. He said he tells you that to keep on living the dream or remember that you're living the dream. Uh -huh. um, has there ever been a time that you're just like, this isn't actually happening? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like where it's a little different. I Pitch yourself in that sense. Nah. I mean, it's always fun just to be like, this is what I've been working for. And so the times when you get down, you know, or the times you kind of get tired, you just kind of have to look back and be like, no, this is what I've wanted for so long. This is an opportunity that not everybody gets. And so my dad's really good at keeping me, you know what I mean? <laughs> keeping me humble, keeping me grateful. So he's big there. So how much more work has it been this in the last three, four months than it was during the actual season? Different. I think, I don't know, longer days. I put in a lot more hours of like physical preparation. So I'm running, I'm doing D-line drills, I'm doing linebacker drills, I'm shooting, I'm doing corner drills with LaShawn. You know what I mean? We're doing all that stuff, but it's different. In season, you're going to practice and you're in school, but you're also watching a lot more film and you're the mental aspect. So, I mean, I wouldn't say it's that much more work. It's just different work. Are you excited to actually play football again after? <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, I don't know. I love, I love the track meet out here, <laughs> but football is my sport. Is, what, what is this, like, what is the show scouts, this, this track meet? Uh, it just shows your natural ability. You know what I mean? It shows them like how explosive you are, how fast you are really, and then they kind of get an idea of how much they can work with. You know what I mean? It's like showing them how much clay you have for them to mold in that sort of sense. And they see what kind of football you player you are on the field with the film and then when they came to scout. But this is like, all right, how much athletic ability do you have? Do Having you, gone through this four years with Sean and mm -hmm. Miles and to be at this point, do you, do you ever think back to that very first game freshman year against Utah State and think about how far you guys We talk come? about that all the time. We talk about how it was, it was us three. Like we have like over like 130 starts together. Jeez. You know what I mean? We we've been doing this for four years. We've been running hills in the summer. And the crazy thing is, I don't think very many people see the work that we put in behind the scenes to get to this point. It's just cool and gratifying to see that like hard work really does pay off for all of us. What's next? What's up now for the next four weeks? Uh, get in football shape. You know what I mean? Hitting the weights hard, getting strong, getting my lungs. Not necessarily for a 40 or for a broad jump, but for like a series, a drive, mm -hmm. that sort of sense. Get my legs back in that sort Getting of sense. Get into a football condition. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever dreamed about playing on the same team? We talk about it, we joke about <laughs> it. You know what I mean, it'd be cool, I'd love it. It'd be way fun, but I think for all of us, we're just trying to get a shot anywhere. Yeah. Have you have you paid attention to any of the draft boards or do you even care? Uh, uh, I usually stay away from those. I stay away from most social media, actually. Miles is the same way, LaShawn's the same way. We just live our lives, we just try to put our best foot forward and don't really care what anybody else has to say about it. For SUU to even have a pro day, or, or A, are you proud to have helped make that happen? And B, did you ever imagine that something like that would happen? That's a funny question. Right before my 40, like uh, I ran the first one, I was sitting back, just sitting down, just getting my legs ready, and I was like, I was thinking what pro day I'd go to a couple years ago. I was like, oh, I'll probably go to Utah State. I don't know, maybe Utah, that sort of thing. And then to be like, whoa, this is our pro day. This is SUU right here. <laughs> right. Super cool. And so I love it. I mean. We won a conference championship. We got a lot of guys with opportunities. We got our own pro day. It's just what, been, it's what I've been working for forever. And it's super gratifying. And with an SEU pro day, you got a lot of your teammates a chance today to show off. Did they, is that something you're proud of as well? Oh, definitely. Because, I mean, these are my teammates. Like Am and Ant Norris, even though we're on opposite sides of the ball, they helped us win games. And winning games is what gets you looks. And so, like, if we won one game, I don't think any of us would be in the position we were in. And so it's great, like we help each other, and that's what team's about. You were kind of joking about Sean's personality. I mean, <laughs> do you, I mean, it, it, does it take some getting to know him? Is that part of it? No, I think what it is is he just, as he's like grown and matured, he's he's just been so much more confident in himself. As he's seen that, like, hey, I'm an NFL caliber cornerback. Like he's like, that is who I am. He's been able to show people his best side. And so like, that's what I was joking about. I was like, they think he's a mystery, but it's, no, just talk to him. I mean, he'll open right up. He's a smart, clever, funny kid. It's just, he just came in as a quiet kid and it kind of stuck with him. 
So is that why do you think people still think he's a mystery? Yeah, because I mean that's kind of been the jokes for four years. Is Quiet Swiss, yeah. like well, it has a nickname. You know, it's things stick, and so I think that. Like right now, like it's crazy. Like he's one of my best friends right now. Mm -hmm. I never would have imagined, but like I took the time to get to know him. He took the time to get to know me, and just an awesome kid. Um, and then now the select the uh, the process now for the next four weeks. It is does the waiting going to get harder now for, with knowing that there's still four weeks to go to the draft? No, no. Like now it's I've I've done all I can do. You know what I mean? People always say control. You can control. I've sure. done my part. Now it's if people want to fly me out or come in, I gotta be ready for that. Okay, and everything else is in the hands of your agent as far as getting Agent, the teams. the teams, all that kind of stuff. It's just a little weight off my shoulders. Awesome.